Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Shortest Trip to Earth, where we are doing the troll mode, because, well, we've got so many uh, <laughs> shield generators and shield batteries, it's uh, a little bit ridiculous. Uh, right now we're in normal mode, of course, but yeah, it, it, it does get pretty ridiculous. Look at that 10 power that requires, that's pretty insane. All right, let's uh, do that. All right, so let's keep going. We've got a little tiny speck here and a planet over here. A little unfortunate that we have to go all the way around. It's a stealthy beacon. It's a small stealthy warning beacon detectable only by ships that have built in Intergalactic Traders Association encryption codes. It casts a simple warning. All trader ships avoid this sector. Slavers detected, profit outlook negative. Okay. Well, they could also do that for all the other ships, I suppose. Let's try to avoid most of these uh, asteroids and go to the gas giant over here. This gas giant contains good quality fuel elements. Atmospheric conditions are perfect for orbit orbital mining. All right. Warning. Access to this planet is restricted to Gal Prospect Incorporated only. Failure to respect property borders will result in attack by orbital defenses. Uh, wrong, long range missiles. 40 explosives for that. Fine, let's do that. We've got mostly energy weapons anyway. We send a swarm of cheaply printed long range missiles towards the planet. It seems the satellites are equipped with point defenses, picking off some of our missiles before they reach the target. We were, we were able to destroy numerous satellites, but some of them remain intact. Next action. Uh, fine. Risk Mothership HP. We close in on the planet, shooting the defense satellites with everything we've got. We receive some counterfire, but manage to destroy all the satellites. Okay. As we approach the gas giant, we are assaulted by yet another set of defenses. The mobile micromines attach themselves to our ship hull and explode. We press on. Yeah, well... The biomining process went as smoothly as possible. The remaining fuel elements are too dispersed to justify further harvesting. Yeah, that's uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's already over a hundred. No, that wasn't worth it at all for that fuel. No. Oh, well. I'm not going to go to Jewelo over here because, well, it's a dead end. So let's go to war. And hopefully... Oh, okay. We're already getting someone that's not so nice. So, battle stations, I guess. Right, uh, let me remember what I did with this. Uh, so let me put this down here. And... Oh yeah, I'll need, I need more energy. Uh, put this down here for more energy. And then I suppose I could have another one of those, or I could have more... Hole. Let's put one of these down here. And more hull. There. All the other stuff is okay, I believe. I mean, I could also put this somewhere, but... Uh, I kind of do need everything that I have at the moment. Yeah, but never mind that. Also, battle stations. And let's... Where are we? Okay, they're already moving towards the space organism inactive. Let's check it. It is a large warp worm showing no signs of life. Could it be dead? Probably not, but let's investigate anyway. Apparently the warp animals are able to biologically become dead when they sleep. The worm wakes up as we approach and attacks us. It must be hungry. Good. We received critical damage, but we were, uh, were able eventually to shred the beast to pieces, revealing the previous meal. Minus seven. Bloody hell. What did we get? Oh, look! Because we're doing this, the others... We're still doing all of this. <laughs> and the other uh, ship cannot attack us yet. Okay, look, look at this. Look look how fast we reload now the shields. Look at that. Ding. Ding, ding. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. We've got five shield generators. Oh, yeah, and still one is not on. Um, hmm. How is this not on, not on? Oh yeah, because I have this. 
There. That should be enough. <laughs> oh, man. There's so many things to replace. And because I haven't played in like a week or so, I, uh... Yeah. Look at that. 90. <laughs> 90 shields. Look at that. All right, so what do we get? Tech artifact, damaged warp drive. That's not very good. Let's grab that. All right, so two ships rapidly approaching tactical weapons range. Ship profile suggests these might be convergence of arrowhead type Terran ships. The enemy fleet is using some kind of jamming device to block more detailed scanning of this range. What the heck is that? We are misunderstood. Serving us is a privilege as we teach our servants to overcome their slough or self, which is completely necessary for spiritual purification or something like that. You must be in a subservient position to see this truth. We will ensure it for you. To battle stations! Oh good, they're, they're coming behind us because of course our one point defense is at the front, so yeah. Alright, so let's see. Uh... What do they have? Quite a few weapons. Unfortunately, the one that ignores shields. This one never deflects, but does a lot of damage to shields. Ignores shields. Does not ignore shields. And over here, again, pretty much the same thing. And they have the same stats of everything, really. So it doesn't matter who we go for. Okie dokie, then. Got a lot of... Um, Got a lot of extra. Yeah, see, this is a weapon slot, actually. I should have placed a weapon here and put this generator somewhere else. But I cannot really put it anywhere else because these containers are full. So never mind that. Oh, well. uh, it, it's good to have a little bit of extra energy anyway. Right, so... <laughs> That's a uh, command bridge. Oh, they got an empty storage. I mean, empty module. Custom energy reactor, 12 and 10. They only have two reactors, it seems. Okay, let's go for that. Go for that. Oh, very nice. Yeah. And hopefully we can destroy them before they destroy us. Yeah. Uh. Won't be able to do much about these with our uh, point defenses. That was a deflection. Come on. Ouch. Ouch. Already have a fire. Nobody fighting fire. Huh. It's taken a while to get there. That point defense is on fire. But look at that. Look at our shields. Well, that's actually damaged now. Whoa, that didn't sound good. And they're already almost destroyed. That's good. Yeah, we've got leaks. We've got everything going wrong. All right. That's not so good. Leak, hostile jamming. <laughs> Leak. Intruders. Oh, good. We've got... Oh, bloody hell. We've got loads of intruders. Oh, this is going to be great. <sighs> okay. Get everyone fighting, because this is a lot of intruders, it seems. Actually, you guys stay there. Oh, this is going to be great. Come on, fight them. They're right by the shield as well. Oh, already... What? Already lost crew. I know someone was bloody Kenshiro. How did he die so quickly? Oh, he was on this weapon. I I, I saw someone was uh, damaged, but I didn't know it would be so quick. And another one? No, that's the uh, that's the intruders. Come on, get them. Pamela May has eight out of twelve. One of the hostile ships is charging. Yeah, blah blah blah. Come on, they are still doing a lot of damage to us. Are we going to get these guys or not? See, it doesn't update. I have to keep clicking on it. Ow, they're doing a lot of damage despite everything. Oh, good. They're going to 
No, they won't destroy our modules yet. Okay, the intruders are gone. And the enemy ship, ship is gone as well. That was not fun. Jeez. Our utility bots have salvaged all the resources. Three modules. Alright, repair all this. Oh no, I lost something! Ah, bloody hell, what was it? It was a shield module, wasn't it? I mean, a shield generator. Or was it a battery? Ah, brilliant. It's just bloody brilliant. Always something, isn't it? Come on, guys, repair these bloody things. Right, so we get an outdated engine. Which, compared to ours... Uh, 35, 8, 1 is not as good. I'm gonna scrap this. And we've got another do-it-yourself shield generator, which is not as good, but oh well. I suppose I can put it there. And a converted ancient mini cannon. Oh no, wait a second. It was my uh, power generator. It was one of the iron generators. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Converted ancient mini cannon. Three times one. I don't know if I want it. Heat ray. I just scrap it for now. Okay, so they are repairing that. Come on, repair these things. Stuff, this stuff is leaking. Repair it! Repair it now! Jeez, and people are also hurt. So, let's get Medbay down. Let's get all this stuff back into place. Shroomery. Uh, what else? Where's the lab? Oh yeah, I'll put that there later. Let's get the people to heal up. How are my drones? They're fine. Sir Cat and Brave Sir Robin. And unfortunately... We lost someone. Okay, load the normal profile. There we go. That's all working again. Unfortunately, we took time to commemorate the lost crew member. Bloody Kenshiro. Oh. Many meaningful thoughts were shared, and one stayed in your mind long after the event was over. It seems that reality is designed for us first to learn how to be as free as possible, and then how to do this while limiting the freedom of others as little as possible. Interesting. Ah. Uh. We've got 10 health left. It's... Shields are nice, but it's really those bloody cannons. Should, should have more uh, point defenses, I suppose. Okay, we need a station to repair. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, we've got a lot of... Uh... Jeez. We have a lot of stuff. I mean, a lot of excess metal, so let's just use it on this. And we'll wait. Oh, look, that's a big one. 180! Oh, that was uh, over 180 to repair. Jeez. Alright, that's it. Well, let's go to this thing, whatever it is. Large asteroids, high water content. This I a field of icy asteroids might have something interesting in it. We discovered an anomaly inside the asteroids. It is a geometrically shaped ultra-dense formation of matter that seems to manipulate nearby asteroids with warp energies. It seems to ignore us. Okay. This is... It's ultra-dense. So that's like a black hole then. That's uh, great. Let's drive closer. Let's attempt to communicate. The anomaly keeps ignoring our signals. It seems to be focused on altering the nearby rocks with its energies. Well, of course. Wait. 
Of course we're gonna drive closer then, I mean drive, apparently. As we drive closer, one of the rocks that the anomaly is working with is hurled at us. This seemed like a pretty clear indication that we are not wanted here. Well, la -di da Somebody suggests we should shoot the bastard of an anomaly back. The AI notes that there are no records of anybody neutralizing such an anomaly by destructive means so far. Shoot it! The anomaly erupts into a ball of ultra-hot light that expands rapidly. Soon covering our entire ship in the whole asteroid field. The ship gets heavily burned, but we survive. We record the encounter and scientific data. That was not worth it. Lovely. Yeah. Anything else here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, off we go to... Uh, Iola? There was one trade fleet. I mean, one fleet here. Oh no, two trade signals. Okay, never mind. Uh, organics exchange. Reliable guns. Uh-oh. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Alright. Well, let's get everything ready again. <laughs> Wait. I thought I lost the reactor. What did I do then? I don't, I don't know. Let's put this here. Put this here. Put this here. And I suppose I can try to put this one... Nowhere. Oh yeah, I had another... Yeah. Oh, good. I lost the point defense as well. Lovely. Lovely. So I can upgrade this one to a weapon slot, I suppose. Which is extraordinarily expensive. And I won't have the... The power for that anyway. Yeah. But... I can have the extra um, health here, if nothing else. Oh well. Right, so... Let's go to the organic exchange. Well, they cannot repair us, unfortunately. 700 extra large. And these ones... What the hell? Oh. And these ones are 600. But this is... Eh, it's not that expensive, but it's still... Eh. Star fuel, organics, and sell a few, I suppose. And exotics. 30 for exotics. I'll sell some of them. Alright, let's uh let's see if we can find them. So we've got yeah. I don't have enough for another shield generator, unfortunately. But that's okay. Oh yeah, I don't even have enough for this one. Oh that really sucks now. So this gives me 15... Wow, that's really good, actually. For 11 energy. Oh yeah, I need to get rid of this, obviously. Because I don't need it. Yeah, now I do wish I had more uh, generators. So, obviously this is 10. Yeah, I do want those shield batteries on. Hmm. What else could I shut off? Well, un until we get something better, I'll just have to... So this gives you 3.8. One of these shield batteries will have to be turned off. 1.12 for 6. That's 4.15. Three six. Three eight. I guess the brass shield generator will have to. Wow, this T eleven is really good, actually. Do it yourself. Yeah, do it yourself will have to be off, because it's not as good as the others. Uh, but I will have it on here just in case one of the others gets damaged, and we can turn that one on. Okay, let's wait for everyone to get into comment positions, and then we can do that next time, of course. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.